What's up guys, Dark Polka Dad back once again, as you saw in the thumbnail, finally, I, I hadn't picked one up until now, finally, I went into my daughter's LGS, it's not her LGS, she works there, and she's basically the face of the store, so I consider it her store. Anyways, finally grabbed the Charizard UPC. I've been holding off, no real reason, I, like I didn't let the... Obviously, I didn't let the FOMO get to me. I, I had a feeling it was gonna be not hard to get. And it's now almost Christmas. Still not hard to get. But let's get into it. So if for some reason you've been living under a rock, this is the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. It retails for $120. Uh, at one point, it was going for nearly 300? No, about two. About 250 right when it was on pre-order, but uh, they're actually really easy to come by. Okay. I think the box is really cool. You should absolutely pick one up if you haven't. They are absolutely worth the money, but as an investment, I just don't think it's great because there's tons of them. They are all over the place. But if you want to pick one up to have one, absolutely go for it. First thing it comes with, This incredible Charizard playmat. Uh, it might be replacing my Eevee one down here. At least until I can get myself a Mimic U one. But that thing's gorgeous. You get some Charizard sleeves that match the artwork. Some high quality damage and poison counters. Even the sides of the drawers have Charizard on them. It's just, a, it's a great box, a great set. Just not hard to find. It's possible that there could be a point in time where it's worth a lot of money, but for now, it is not. I thought this was supposed to come with a Charizard coin, but mine doesn't have one. Interesting. And then, of course, you get three Charizard promos. Which, there's been a lot of problems with them being off-center or being heavily damaged. So let's take a look. First, we got the sleeping Charizard V, alternate art. A uh, little heavy on the left. And a little heavy top to bottom, but I've definitely seen ones that are worse. A little bit of whitening down in this corner. And you got your Godzilla Charizard, as I like to call it. This one actually looks like it's pretty decent shape. You got your Charizard V Max. I'm sorry, V Star. You got your Charizard V Star. Looks a little heavy on the left as well. But overall, well, until I just dropped it, anyways. I've definitely seen people with ones that look way worse than these. And it comes with a buttload of packs, which is what really helps this thing to keep its value. Oh, there is a Charizard coin. Okay, I thought so. Doesn't. So we have. So we have three packs of Evolving Skies, two packs of Lost Origin, three packs of Astral Radiance, three packs of Fusion Strike, three packs of Evolving Skies, a Vivid Voltage, and a Darkness Ablaze. So 
So altogether, we have 16 packs. Now, I believe that the first print run had 17 and the pack mix was a bit different, but I could be wrong with that. So I'm trying to collect one of each pack art for Evolving Skies and I didn't have an Umbreon. It's the only one I was missing. So I will go ahead and put this one aside. So you will see me open 15 packs. So let's go ahead and get into these. Vivid Voltage is the set uh, in Sword and Shield that I've had the absolute worst luck with. So we got Wash Energy, Nuzleaf, Pine Churchin. You'll have to excuse me, I am not wearing my glasses and it's really hard for me to see them correctly. So I'm doing my best. Weedle, Beldum, Fanpy, Duskull, Electrike, Reverse Galarian Meowth, and Talonflame V. That's not a bad start. I mean, is it worth much? No, about a dollar or so, but still a great start. Okay, Darkness of Blaze. Another set that I've not had the best luck with. Pupitar, Zwellios, Starvia, Fletching, Passimian, Phoebus, Sinisty, Qfant, Golurk, and Talonflame non hollow. I will do the Evolving Skies last because it's Evolving Skies. Fusion Strike, however, gonna start going up in value most likely because it is out of print now. But the pull rates are also really tough. So who knows? All right. Togedemaru, Battle VIP Pass. Great playable card. If you have a bunch of these in your bulk and you're wanting to sell, pull them out. These are worth like two, three bucks a piece. Metapod, Growlithe, Indeedee, Dark Murrah, Pancham, Wulu, Meltan, Ingredient, V. Awesome. Raja, Chili Killin' and Cress, Schoolgirl, Carvana, Smeargle, Rotom, Grubbin, Mantine, Dreepy Reverse, and Starmy Hollow. Last pack of Fusion Strike. Zarude, Primeape, Schoolboy, Jinx, Skarmory, Siwaddle, Pampur, Makuhita, Chargebug, Luxray. I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to open these in the way they are my favorite. So, while it might, you may think that I'm crazy. We're doing Lost Origin now. Just haven't had good luck with this set, and therefore I don't really like it that much. Sligu, Electric, Toolbox, Rosalia, Gumi, Meditite, Squovert, Charizard, nice, Charizard, character rare in the trainer gallery. Sweet and Landros. That is awesome. I 
yeah, I'm excited for that one. Okay. Okay, Toolbox, Gloom, Gastrodon, Love Disc, Phalanx, Polywag, Gligar, Gumi, Trevenant Reverse, and Porygon Z. Now we are going to get into Brilliant Stars. A great set, but I actually prefer Astral Radiance to it more. Astral Radiance is my favorite set from Sword and Shield. Claydol, Arse, Acerola's Premonition, Pot Helmet, Gibble, Pup, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, Clink, Burmy Reverse, and Lapras. Okay, Sigilyph. I can't read that. Choice Belt, Turtwig, Trap Inch, Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Purloin, sorry, Clefable, and Garchomp Hollow. So far, definitely the best pull. Clang, Grabite, Torkoal, Cubchu, Shinx, Farfetched, Execute, Grimer, Grimer Reverse, and Cling Clang. Okay, time for time for my personal favorite Sword and Shield set, Astral Radiance. Bergmite, Featherball, Ursa Ring, Temple of Sinnoh, Hip Hop, Hip into the Hip into the Hip Hip Hop, Apatitas, Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Growlithe, Togepi Reverse, and Regirock. If you're doing a Reggie deck, all the Reggie cards are good. Bronzong, Duat, Yanmega, Pseudo Widow, Combi, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi, Gapejaw Bog, and Regis. Regis Philbin. There has not been a lot of hits today. So be it. Hopefully that means there's a Moombreon alt art in there. I, 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 I doubt it. Okay, Drift Glim, Dark Patch, Pillow Swine, Hip Hop, Hip to the Hip to the Hip Hip Hop Patadas, Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Growlithe, Vulture, Milo, Full Art Trainer, from the Trainer Gallery, awesome. And Braviary. This is actually, I'm down to about 25 cards from Astro Radiance that I need. This happens to be one of them. Okay, it is that time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for Evolving Skies. Okay, here 
we go. Hurtier, Aroma Lady, Rescue Carrier, Slackhoff, Seedot, Love Disc, Bag On, Punkaboo, <coughs> Rahane, and Dualadon V. Uh, I'll take it. I don't have Dualadon V. I do have the Rainbow Rare Dualadon V. But not the regular one. Last pack. Will there be some last pack magic? Judging by that white code card, I'm gonna say no. But here we go. Boost Shake. Shellgon. Shopping Center. Phoebus. Scraggy. Drowsy. Mareep. Dweeble. Mareep. Reverse. And... Gorgeist non-hollow. Well, I hope you had as much fun watching as I had opening. I'll probably pick up one more to put aside. It's going to retain its value at the very least. Uh, if you can, there are places selling them right now for like eighty-five bucks. If you can grab one, grab one. Uh, I paid slightly more than retail. It's one twenty. I paid one twenty-five, but it supports my daughter's business, so I'm okay with paying just a tad more. But if you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it, go ahead and smash that like button, click the notification bell, subscribe, all that happy stuff. It does help the channel grow. Gives me motivation to buy more product to open up to share with you guys. As always, guys, thanks and have a great day. Mm -hmm.